Hi, boys and girls. I want to talk to you about the coloring. We've talked a little bit already about coloring with the Yayoi Kusama pumpkin. And now I'd like to talk to you about how to color for the Mary Blair. You want to make sure that you are working very carefully and you're taking your time. We always talk about taking our cheetah feet off and putting our turtle shell on. You want to continue to work carefully. I want you to use crayon, marker, color pencil. Um, I also have a video that you can paint if you want to, but you certainly don't have to. But you can check out that video if you'd like. So one thing I recommend is testing out some of your colors on another piece of paper before you move on. Make sure that they're the colors that you'd like to use because sometimes the crayon looks a little different than the color that you might be expecting. So do some tests before you move on. And I want you to think before you color. Plan out what colors you'd like to use. You can do color groupings like warm or cool. But one thing you want to make sure that you do is you color completely. So I'm taking my time and I'm coloring in my shapes. And I wanna show you what happens if I don't do that and I work too fast on the other side. And I want you to start to ask yourself, which side do I like better? What are you thinking? Are you thinking that Mrs. Sasso is working a little too fast on that right side of the paper? I'm thinking I am just a little too fast. I should probably slow that down. And I'm taking my time on this side to color in the whole shape. So this triangle, I'm taking my time and I'm coloring in the whole thing. And if your hand needs a little wiggle break, you can take a little wiggle break, that's fine. But really note the difference between the two sides. This is what happens when we work too quickly. This is what happens when we take our time. So I want you to really slow down and take your time and color very carefully. You can still do the layering if you want to, if you like that look, but to keep it kind of like Mary Blair, you really don't need to do that because we're not trying to create anything looking 3D right now, like we were trying to make our pumpkins almost look like they were glowing little lanterns. But for this, we don't need to do any layering, unless you really like that effect. So you can really see the difference between the two. Now this is using crayons. If you'd like to use colored pencil, I can show you that as well. And again, you can do another piece of paper and you can test out your colors. See which colors you'd like to use. Now on this testing, it's fine to go fast, but when we move on to our final, you want to make sure that you are going slowly or at least carefully, especially when you get to those little tiny corners. Because if you go quickly, and sloppily, definitely a difference. I'm going to add this color. One of the techniques that I'm using here is I'm coloring in this direction, but I'm not touching the edge. And then I will go in a little bit more like that, and I might even follow this line and that can help me fill in that space. So if that helps you move a little quicker, you can do it that way because you're being careful and you're coloring in the whole shape, which is really important. Because if you go quickly like this, 
doesn't quite look as nice. So I suggest if you want to use that technique, that's fine. Going up and down, but then when you get to this side, as long as you color in the whole thing, you shouldn't be able to see these lines like you do here. So you can really tell the difference when you take your time versus when you don't take your time and you work too quickly. This is crayon. These are colored pencils. Just two different options. Either one is better than another and it maybe just matters what you have available to you. Your goal is just to color this in and doing it carefully. And as always, enjoy and stay creative.